I have been so anxious to get up into the mountains and go camping but it is early June so it's a little too early to really get up into those high elevation passes and we've gotten a ton more rain and it's been quite a bit cooler this year than typical so it's probably going to be early July before some of those higher ones are even close to being passable and I just couldn't wait any longer so I am exploring the Pike National Forest uh, just right in my area typically I don't come out here because it's very popular so during the weekends there's gonna be a ton of just dirt bikes ATVs other vehicles and that's just not the vibe I'm going for when I want to get out so I decided to take the day off of work on uh, Monday morning come out here explore uh, get more familiar with the area find a good spot and maybe cook up some food and just enjoy a little peace and quiet The only thing I'm really worried about today is the weather. You know, typically uh, we get thunderstorms every day here in Colorado as it warms up and they usually leave just as quickly as they start it. Uh, but for the last few weeks and projected out for the rest of this week, we've had the rain just kind of hung around and rained all day, which is great because we're getting more water than we typically would get and everything is green as opposed to various shades of brown. Um, but it might ruin the day. I'm gonna take a minute here and do a little venting. I've been exploring some of these dispersed campsites uh, off this main road, and man, a lot of them have not been taken care of. There's beer cans all over the place, there's graffiti on some rocks, and it's just, uh, you know, irritating that people just can't take care of things, which is one of the reasons why I like to get out further away. I find that the campsites are really you know, for the most part, are, are, are really well taken care of. And I think if someone's really gonna take the time and effort, you know, to really get out to some of these hard to read places, you know, they have a certain amount of respect, you know, for the outdoors and just other people in general. So that's my little, uh, you know, venting session. Please people, just pick up your trash, it's not that hard.
Okay, I think I might have found the spot for the day. On this channel, I do off-roading, overlanding, camping, whatever you want to call it, content in my Jeep Gladiator Django. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe. I drove to the end of the trail. Uh, it's the spot isn't half bad. It's big enough for a couple of vehicles, nice and flat. Only thing is you don't really have too much of a view. You're surrounded by the trees. But uh, if I would bet if I were to walk just a little bit further back there out of the trees, I'm sure you have a good view of uh, the surrounding areas. So I'm going to get set up, get something to eat. I am starving. Okay, I have the worst timing ever. I get out, start getting everything set up, and it immediately starts raining, and raining pretty hard. Um, I have a tarp, I didn't have time to get it set up before it started raining. I'm gonna go out there and try to get it set up, uh, so I can continue cooking, because if today is like anything like the last week or so have been, it is going to be raining for a while, so I can't wait it out. Well, I guess I'm not going out there now. It immediately started hailing. I didn't even get a chance to get out there and set up the tarp. Uh, so far, it is small. Hopefully, it stays small size hail. Because if it gets bigger and dents up the Jeep, there's not much I can do about it out here. I just got to cross my fingers and hope that does not happen. It's still raining. But I think the hill has stopped, so I'm going to get back out here, finish setting up this tarp. Okay, it stopped raining, thankfully, right when I get the tarp up. And this is the first time I've ever tried putting it up. Let me show you here. And it's not super stable. Um, it would have been easier with uh, one more person. But I was able to get it up. Uh, if the weather really gets bad again, I don't know if it's going to be able to uh, stand up to the rain and the wind. But uh, we'll just see what happens. I set my fire pit. It got all flooded out. So I'm going to try to drain a little bit of water out of there. I earned this meal. 
I don't know if you could tell by the video, but it was raining the whole time I was trying to prepare it. I ended up deciding to take down the cover uh, because I, I was worried when that storm was coming in if the wind would pick up and maybe knock it down like into the fire or something like that. And that would be bad news. I was like, I'll just cook out in the rain uh, before like, you know, setting something on fire. I got it done. As a matter of fact, it's, it's sprinkling right now. I only got like a brief window of a little bit of sun before I can see a next storm coming in. So I am going to enjoy this. The second that I am done eating, done cooking, everything put away, stops raining, the birds are out chirping. <laughs> uh, I guess that's just the way it goes. But I can occasionally hear some thunder off in the distance, so I don't think uh, the weather's done yet.